fights on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There is too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a Jarl. And if they are foes, then we fight them all, together. these men they speak with twisted accents Eivor! On me! <laughs> oh, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norsemen with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! You have what you wish for, Dag. I'll finish you!
surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Nothing to see here. All good. Look at this. A nice truck. Wait. Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd! Dag! In here! Those men had prisoners. You there! Untie us! Let us walk and we will not hurt you! Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, 
as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I wreck their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragna, at Hastan Yal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me, but it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers, into friends, into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Randvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the Sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they will or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. 
I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. What else have you found? Not a bad place, Eivor. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking, then? Good, good. How oh, I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes. Bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did. And listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! We can't raise the sail here. No, we are here, Doc. The monasteries will be well guarded. Ah! But sail. nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. Come, my wolves! Hey, look, look there, a monastery. I stand ready. Only say the word. Is there trouble? Take you. Patience will reward us. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Hey, come here! Please, this leaf cannot fall. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stay back. Do not touch this tree. All right. What is your name? May. Eivor. Something about this tree important to you? It's the leaves. My father said he would return home before they'd all fall into the ground. And now, only one remains. And still no return. It's been six weeks. Six weeks since he's gone to Lincoln in search of work. I wish he stayed. Just one more season. He was so sure the fields wouldn't yield, but we could have tried. Six weeks is much too long for a father to leave a child. If he was going to return, he would have done so by now. Oh, no. You can talk to this leaf, pray to your gods, shout at the stars, but your father's fate was forged long ago. Like mine, like yours. Stop talking like that. He'll come back. He said so. Just... just leave me be. He'll be back. You'll see. Before the leaves fall, just like he said. Easy, friend. I think you may have eaten something that did not agree with you. Today, my saga is writ! Glory! Ah, oh, a brave steed has swept me up. Onward to my loyal companion! If I don't stop him, something or someone less forgiving will. I should stay close by, wait for him to tire. about this land, my friend. This area is off limits. I will take on any challenger, be it on two legs or four. Show yourself to me if you dare. Where he offers. Fight me! You will be honored! <laughs> <by legend. laughs> My belly 
hurts and I do not know why. <laughs> Blindside the poxy runt! I cannot feel my lips or my nose! Why does the sun burn so hot? You're bleeding, dunghill! I miss bro! I miss bro! You keep this up, you are going to get yourself killed. Are you hearing me? Yeah! Loud and clear! Now stand aside so that I may fulfill my destiny! Yeah! Keep back myself, huh? I have been struck by a sudden wave of power. I am tired.
This...
Ah, this is wonderful, Aver. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Vornberg. Come visit me anytime. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. A pleasure to see you again, Eivor. May I see your stores? Is that what you want? Nothing else I can do for you? I would like to see what you have in stock. You are looking powerful. I'm off. Be well, friend. Be well, my friend. Greetings! The Saxons break their rhythms into smaller categories called shires. Hey, boy! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the Longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. A letterbox for messages and requests. Hmm. Hmm. Not much, but it is mine. I like living in the longhouse. I feel like a yarl. You're ready to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. Why now? What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. 
as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. My stable is a bit spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable would be a great boon here. You are. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leicestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Leather Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Ivar Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent.
back hurts, standing here all day. We need a place to work. Abel, my stable is a bit spared just now, but... I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling staple would be a great boon here. I will see what I can do. Bex, are you seeing this? Yeah, it's weird. An anomaly of some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I could reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is.
Wake, my love, wake. Soldiers at our door. They've come for you. For us. Let them take me. I have no more fear. Let me air my wrath in the courts. They'll kill you before they let you speak. I'll appeal to the council. They must know what the mad one has done. They're upon us. Now is not the time. Bex, I'm closing in on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I have it. Sending it over.
I should be cautious around here. Must be blocked from the other side. Get the torch. I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would. Please do not distract us. We're trying to solve a problem here. We need fire to set the house ablaze. Think, think. How could you forget the torch? I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would bring it. Ah, you fool. Must I do everything? 
could you forget the torts? I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would bring it. Ah, you fool. Must I do everything? Please do not distract us. We're trying to solve a problem here. We need fire to set the house ablaze. Think, think. How could you forget the torch? I told you we need... Look, this stranger has helped us. Come here, Sprout. Who are you? You wanted fire. There you have it. Though I get the sense you two are ill-fit for whatever it is you're plotting. <laughs> this one takes us for a fool, brother. We sons of Ragnar have this well under control. No, we do not. Sons of Ragnar? I know of many, but never have I heard of Dull and Duller. What is your plan here? We set up that abandoned house to practice a raid. Build it with our most precious things to up the stakes. Even master raiders such as we need to stay sharp, brother. You better hurry. Yes, for glory! Please come with. I do not want to do this with my brother alone. This raid will harden our legacy, brother. Clans will come crawling, begging us to join them. Our names will echo in the halls of Valhalla. And worry not, Spudding Sprout. Together, we will grow you into a fine warrior. I get the feeling we haven't much to teach him. Go on, brother. Like we talked about. Blow these doors in like a punishing storm. Stand back, Sprout, and observe. You may learn a thing or two. I am excited. You must hear it in my voice. I cannot do it. Gentle as a lamb. Stand aside. What is wrong? The door is not opening. Use the key. Ah, yes. Uh, uh... Where did I put it? God! Mother's axe! It is inside! Please, stranger, you must get it back for us. Find a way in. Ugh, doll and dollar. Like I said. I found a way in. It should be on the table. I do not see it here! Again! Focus! The bag's in the corner! I seem to remember putting it there! This must be the key to the door. Thick-headed fools! I am unharmed, which makes you very lucky. Smart, you mean. I must have taken Mother's axe out of the house, knowing this fool would forget it. And left the key in its place. You two are as useful as a glass hammer. I am leaving. Do not listen to that drivel, brother. We must endure. The world will know us by name soon enough. <laughs> 